Hello YouTube, um, today we're going to play Macquarie 5 Mercenaries but I'm also going to talk you through the mods that I've installed because I've put quite a few on and just what they do and why I think they're a good idea so this is my mods folder inside the game UMAD 5A is a custom mech for a customization of the Marauder mech it's now a 100 ton assault mech and it's got importantly 15 upgrade slots which will hopefully help us get through those level 100 difficulty missions later on yet another weapon clan and yet another weapon are just weapon mods that add a lot of modules to the game which is really nice for versatility some of those weapons are really fun Xenopax optimize that will help fix some of the performance issues of the game and give you a bit more video memory and stuff like that Xenopack Energy is a rework of all the energy weapons in the game, which is helpful. Well, it just makes them more useful, make more sense. It's not an overly cheaty one, that. It's just a rebalance. Uh, same with Xenopack's Ballistics, but I haven't got that one installed because it um, conflicted with yet another weapon for some reason. I don't know why. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the temporary mech lab fix is literally what it says it fixes a bug where uh, you would equip a weapon from the mech lab and then you'd suddenly have none of those weapons no matter how many of them you had smmo uh, is a quality of life mod for the star map it adds tooltips which show you what missions are available in the system so you don't actually have to go there and fight to find out what missions are available Remove the jump ship animation again. Massive quality of life upgrade. Uh, if you're playing a long, ca long campaign, it will cut hours off your life. Max tonnage allows you to take any mechs you want to a mission, even up to four assaults on any mission. Uh, but you're not limited to that. If, for instance, you've got a mission, one of the beachheads where there's artillery, you may want something lighter than a hundred ton mech to outrun the artillery. You know, you've still got options. You know, the still the tactical edge to having lights and the mediums in your lance not lance the, you haven't got a lance there's not five of them never mind whatever it's called when there's four of them <laughs> uh, lct hud um this is just a cosmetic one really it's supposed to add a zoom but the latest version the zoom doesn't seem to be working but it also adds like a the illusion uh, well the vanilla game it's like you're just straight onto the world looking out of your cockpit this adds like a layer of glass so it feels and the atmospheric effects and lighting effects on the glass so it's a lot more immersive i really like that uh, the equipable sensor antenna mod this is one of the musts for difficulty balance it lets you well it gives you a sensor suite to speak of you're able to detect people outside of your weapon range and stuff like that it's not the whole map but um you can now use your lrms to their full effect most of the time with this uh piece of equipment equipped and you can buy it in any of the shops double heat sink base cooling rate fix again this is just a fix to the way the really good heat sinks work in the game i'm not sure if it actually works with the clan double heat sinks that came with uh, the yet another clan or actually it might have been clans mechs weapons equipment mod that the clan double heat sinks came with i'm not sure but anyway this is just another selection of things similar to uh yet another weapon both of them the clans mechs weapons equipment although i haven't actually used much from that one this one might be optional Better Spawns 3 Beta is, uh, I know it's a beta, but it's just the latest version that works with the latest version of the game, with the DLCs, the DLC that's available now. And Better Spawns stops happening things like uh, you being spawn camped by the enemy, you literally into the mission and there's a lance right on top of you, or when they come down from their drop pods, uh, the drop ships, it, it, it makes more sense it, you know it's a complete rework of the way the enemies spawn it there's not more of them there's not less of them they're just they don't uh outmaneuver you as much and as badly and as randomly as uh, the vanilla game 
and Xeno AI, this is awesome. I immediately noticed a performance in the behavior of all the AI pilots. It, it, they just, they're just smarter. Everyone's smarter in the game. It completely changes it. Xeno AI 1.1b, excellent mod. Right, so those are the mods. You can get them all off Nexus mods. You can't get them all off uh, either the Epic Store or I suspect the Steam Workshop. I'm playing on the Epic Store because I bought this game on release uh, because I wanted to support this game. I love the franchise and I'm not prepared to buy it again on Steam. I think I should get it on Steam free to be honest, but you know how these things work. Don't think I will somehow. Anyway. Let's load up the single player game and do a mission. We have a thirty five assassination versus pilot. I only really like doing the missions against pirates and now that I've got that mod I can find them it means that it doesn't wreck your standing with any of the mage powers if you just kill pirates all the time uh, another mod that I downloaded although it doesn't actually go on the list is the save game editor and one of the things that that did apart from allow me to actually have all of these things without finding them in the game by playing for hours and hours and hours uh, was to edit the pilots so that they all had the maximum potential skill settings you'll notice that's 3 of 10, 3 of 10, 4 of 10, 2 of 10 basically not every pilot is born equal and I've fixed that so now they are they all have a maximum potential of 10 across the board let's quickly show you how I fitted these 5, 4 I can't count these four marauders so my one that I'm piloting has a sniper artillery cannon which is uh, one of the ones that came with yet another weapon uh, clan SRMs and clan ER large lasers that's from yet another weapon clan my support mechs or rather this is the mech that my friend sometimes plays with when he joins us he's got an AC-20 burst fire and an RM-15s with Artemis Street. I found it really helpful to have a mech with the Arrow 4 missile launcher because it's uh, basically the heaviest long range missile system in the game and I managed to pick up a level 3 one just by playing the game and at the end this one's got a gorse now there is something in the game called a heavy assault gorse which is actually really awesome but I, I wanted to see what the standard gorse was like on that one so uh, yeah that's just basically the reason I've got these mechs is that they come with the 15 upgrade slots and I can show you how you do that you just go on there select upgrades and slot them in and I've only actually picked up 14 upgrades so far so I'm doing alright yeah, let's get on with it. This group has proved to be a nuisance for our employers. We're tasked with making sure that we find them and put them in the ground. Good hunting, everyone. If you find the acquisition, just walk up to it in order to pick it up. That's close enough. Ready to start pickup operation. Target destroyed. Target. Excellent find, Commander. Beginning recovery now. Tango spotted, and it's a beauty. Positive visual on the target, Commander. I've marked it on your tax screen. Target 
destroyed. There, Commander. Approach the hidden object to pick it up. The one? New target, Spider. That mech is on our kill list. You know what to do. All over that ridge. That matches the class of VTOL we're after. Take it out. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Let's move. At requested, Commander. Holding at your waypoint. Target acquired. We've got eyes on the primary. Drop them before their friends show up. Tango down. New target, Charger. signature from the targets. Looks like we've got them all. We fulfilled our contract, Commander. Let's get you out of here now. 
But there's always safety in numbers in a combat zone. We should do what we can to help them out. They will make earning our combat bonus all the easier the longer they stay in the fight. Vehicle rolling in. Be sure to take it apart. Destroy. Is continuing to converge on your location. Stay frosty, Commander. New target, Hunchback.
They're lighting up with additional bogies, Commander. Copy. Lens relocation confirmed. Threat eliminated. Target acquired. Target dispatched. A requested location. New target water. Looks like you've got their attention. I'm showing multiple hostiles incoming on your position. Target acquired. New target rifleman. Additional tangos en route to your position, Commander. Grid location received. We are Oscar Mike. Received. Let's go. Target acquired. Priority target received. Commander. From here on out, we're racking up bonus pay. Stick around as long as you like. We're on standby to pick you up when you're ready for evac. A job well done, Commander. Standby for pickup. <laughs> 